Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be new moon and Taurus predictions for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, this new moon is on May 11th and um, it is very grounding, stable, and powerful. It's ruled by Taurus or it's in Taurus, so it reminds us to get back to enjoying our physical world in whatever way is most pleasurable to us. Taurus is ruled by Venus, and Venus is in Gemini during this new moon, so she lends a light feel to earthy Taurus, encouraging us to socialize, to connect, and enjoy variety. It brings us an airy energy to help us move out of our comfort zones and seek new ways to experience pleasure and joy in our material world and in our relationships. This is a, a great moon to start new financial ventures, and with a strong trine to Pluto, we can revamp our relationships to money and our values. All right, my dearest fellow Geminis, so while I'm doing this reading, I'm just gonna ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed in order of appearance down below. Feel free to leave a comment, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, let's go ahead and see my dear Geminis. I'm gonna pull some super awesome fortune cards to get an overall energy before we hit jump into the reading. So messages for my dearest Geminis, please. Okay, so we've got the cat lady. <laughs> All right, some of you guys may have cats. Some of you guys may have been spending a lot of time on your own. Um, we get the moon, number 33. Ooh, Cancer and, uh, ooh, there's Sagittarius energy around that one as well. And we also get number 22, the pig. Interesting. All right, Gemini. So we have two master numbers coming through here, 22 and 33. So about building something, learning really tough spiritual lessons. But then 27 breaks down to a nine, the ending of a difficult cycle. Some of you guys are coming to the end of a period of loneliness. Um, and our overall energy is love, number three. I love that. So let's go ahead and see what... Um, what the little booklet says about these cards. So the first one is the cat lady. So you will be alone for a while, at least in terms of human companionship. This period can be used for personal growth or relaxation. Um, and it means, you know, but I don't, but I feel like this is the energy that some of my Geminis, you guys have felt like you have been in. Some of you guys have given up on love or you just sort of keep calling in people that aren't in alignment with you. Um, but it, it's about you doing this spiritual growth and this work. Um, number 33, this is um, the moon card about intuition and dreams. So the answers you seek are deep within you, within yourself on this issue. So don't be afraid of what comes up. It can also mean just being about really self-reflective or having some sort of life-changing idea that kind of comes in suddenly. So again, for some of you guys, you've been in this very reflective energy, doing a lot of shadow work. Um, many of you guys have started to dream though, and I feel like, you know, not all of these readings are about love, you guys, but because we have the love card here, some of you guys have started to really dream about um, about somebody that maybe you haven't even met yet, okay? And for others of you, it may be dreaming about a past person, but just pay attention to your dreams. There are a lot of messages coming through. So the pig card, believe it or not, indicates an abundance of luck that might make you a bit greedy. Enjoy the luck while you have it, but don't overindulge, okay? Or you'll be the bacon instead of the pig. Okay, so again, this is interesting. So I do feel like you have, you know, there's a potential for a new love here. If it's been a while, my dear Geminis, um, you know, it's about taking it slow, not rushing into things. You know, you don't want to scare anybody off, um, but you also just want it also for your own, for your own peace of mind, you know? It's like, take it slow, you know, do, make sure you get to know this person. Um, yeah, I really like that. Some of you guys might be a little bit worried that like you're too weird or unique for people. Um, not for the right person, okay? I just want to remind you, when the person is right, you know, all of your quirks and your kinks and your fetishes are going to be just fine. Okay, my dear Geminis? So let's go ahead and see what your energy is that you're bringing into this new moon. I love this because I really do see like two very unique people coming together and accepting and loving one another. The Knight of Wands. So, you know, there's some sort of passion here. Some of you guys are ready to get back out there. Some of you guys have even already started dreaming. Some of you guys might be having some naughty dreams is what they're telling me. Um, 
you know, and but I feel like you guys are just tired of sort of going it alone, doing it all on your own. So I do feel there could be somebody that's rushing towards you. I just keep getting this energy of make sure that you don't get caught up in all the passion of it. Remember, you don't want to overindulge and become the bacon, right? Instead of the pig. I thought that was funny. Um, what's blocking you the two of pentacles yeah so there is a brand new beginning here but i do feel like it's about it's about not rushing into it okay don't rush into things gemini no matter how much you might want it because for many of us we've been on our own for quite some time and so it's like somebody shows us attention or we get that attention and we're like yes this is what i want i'm going for it and so we overlook some of the um you know any sort of red flags or you know again you don't want to you don't want to um you know, you don't want to be too much is what I'm getting at. So um, the intentions that you need to set, some of you guys, this is a really difficult period for you. Either you've been in separation or you've been broken up. Um, but it's about it's about all of this shadow work, all of this healing that you're doing is preparing you for a new beginning. Okay, so don't be frustrated if you haven't met somebody yet. You're ready, you're preparing, you're doing all, you're being really self-reflective. And that's what's bringing you into balance here to call in, you know, partnership and love. Ace of Swords, beautiful. So there's some sort of communication coming in. Um, there's some sort of new beginning here. It's, it's something that's going to be in alignment with you. And you might feel really ostracized. You might feel really isolated. You might feel really like you've been on your own for too long and you're, and, and there could be some hesitation or nervousness about that. And then we get the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So there is a little bit of a warning here, you guys, with what I've been saying since the beginning, you are unique. You are not meant for everybody. Not everybody's going to like you and you're not going to like everybody. Um, and I feel like some of you guys, you, you might be, you know, you could be like empaths and other tarot readers. You might be a little bit like off the grid for some people or a little bit, you know, a little bit out there for some people, but you're not going to be out there for the right person. Okay. And so it, it's also about, I do feel like it's about taking things slow, not jumping into anything, making sure that you get to know somebody because there's, there is a, like a, a lot of abundance coming to you. Um, for many of you, it is, it is about love and relationships for others of you. It might just be your business. Um, but I, I just pick up mostly it's about love here. So again, this is that, that warning. Don't overindulge. Take things slow. Stay in your loving presence and your balance, okay? And this will be a beautiful new beginning for you. If you don't, I mean, they just keep telling me with the pig here, <laughs> you know, just don't become too greedy. Um, you know, don't rush into things, you know, because you don't want to become the bacon. I know that's just such a funny thing to say. We see the 10 of cups. This is your happiness. There is potential to be really, really happy, Gemini. This is your life partner. This is a soulmate. This is somebody that, look at that, you're king. So you could be, look at that. We have the king and the queen. I shuffle these decks a lot, you guys, in between readings and the king and the queen. This is your soulmate. Oh my goodness. But you don't want to scare them off, Gemini. Okay. And it doesn't mean about like not not being who you truly are remember the you're the person you're meant to be with will not pass you by but there's also a need for you to just sort of like again take it slow um, I know you're gonna really want to rush into it um, and believe that you know believe in it believe in love this is awesome this is actually a really awesome reading Gemini all right, let's go ahead and see. Let's clarify. Why is this Knight of Wands here? A lot of passion. Some of you guys are ready, you know, and I, I can't help. There's a very sexual nature to this Knight of Wands. Like some of you guys, it's been a while and you're just like, you know, I want it. I, I need it. I'm ready for it. Okay. So it's like, all right, all right. Just you know, <laughs> take it slow. Uh, I love it. Wow, that just came flying out. So look at that. We see the full energy, Aries energy. Yeah, there's something new coming towards you guys. This you, this is your, I feel like this is your soulmate. You're ready to take a risk. Okay, but make sure it's a calculated risk, Gemini. Okay, really make sure it's a calculated risk. All right, and we get the Six of Cups. So this is your soulmate energy. For a select few of you, this very well might be a reconciliation or there might be somebody from your past coming back 
Um, again, be very careful. Be very careful that they're not coming back in for attention or they're just coming back in, you know, just for sex. Some of you guys, again, you might, this might be an ex that you're tempted to hook up with because, you know, you're feeling it. You haven't been with anybody in a while. Again, that's not going to be for all of you. Just be very careful with that because make sure that, you know, their energy, if they're, if it's, if they're coming back in with the same energy, you will, this will sort of be like a, this, another disappointment. Okay. So again, what's blocking you? Needing to take it slow. Look at all the details. There is an offer coming in, okay? And you're really gonna weigh, weigh it up and, you know, weigh it up. Take a look at all the details, um, slow and steady. Don't throw everything that you've been working towards away. So some of you guys, you know, you may have, there may be a past person that it was really hard for you to heal and to get over, but it's like some of you might be tempted just to go back to this person because you're feeling lonely, okay, or because you want to kind of hook up. And Spirit's saying just be really careful with that, okay? Just be careful that you're not, you know, making, you know, you're not making um, a bad decision, okay? So weigh up all your options. You want something stable. Spirit's saying it's something new. And if it is about reconciling with somebody, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries, if it is about reconciliation, they have to be coming at you completely differently in, the, in this transformed energy, okay? Like not just coming in for attention. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So make sure that you don't make a decision based on, you know, a fear of being alone forever and you make the wrong decision or you, or you find yourself back in the same rut with the same person, okay? Because you've worked really hard here to do a lot of shadow work. Okay, you've worked really hard on yourself, Gemini, and you deserve love. You deserve that sweetness. You you deserve companionship and compatibility, okay? So I do feel like Ten of Swords, this is about like really committed to your healing. For some of you guys, I kind of get this energy of relapse as well. I know that's not going to be for all of you, but if it's about drugs or alcohol or some sort of codependency, again, it's about like focus on what's best for you, even though it might be easier to fall back on sort of these old ways, you know, old habits die hard, right? Whether that's people or whether that's, you know, whatever that is for you. Spirit saying, focus on something new. There's something new. There's something new here for you. All right. Ten of swords in reverse. And get the king of wands in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So it's about leaving. Um, okay. Well, let me just pull another card first. And we get the nine of swords. Yeah. Interesting. So this is what I'm getting. For some of you guys, it is about releasing, purging, purging and releasing a past relationship or behavior pattern, something having to do with codependency. Because the King of Wands in reverse is somebody that may not have ever really given you commitment. And it's just that repeating message I'm getting. The Nine of Swords in reverse is telling me this past person may not have changed their energy. It's for it's up for you to decide. But this past person, King of Wands, non-committal, in and out of your life, you know, maybe they just want to hook up. Maybe they just want attention. It's time to release that. It's time to purge and release that. It may be very difficult. And again, they might be coming back in. Just do your homework, Gemini, okay? Because again, I don't want to see you back in the same rut, okay? Because you've done a lot of work. You've been on your own. You might be feeling a bit vulnerable or like you kind of, you know, you need somebody, but you're stronger than that, okay? That's it. If this person has changed their energy, if this person really has transformed and they come at you correct, well, then by all means, then you can heal the situation and have a new beginning with them. But for many of you guys, this person from the past hasn't, and it's just going to stall you from, you know, what you're, what you're truly meant to be doing or who you're truly meant to be with, because this is, this is out of control. This is awesome. You get the king and the queen. Okay. The person that you're meant to be with and a lot of love. This is coming. This is your reward. Okay. And 10 of cups. This is your reward. Okay. So this is about staying in alignment with yourself. Yeah. Some of you guys, there is a reconciliation, but for others of you, this is about holding out for the one, for your true soulmate. See past fears and illusions. Yeah, focus on yourself and what's best on best for you. The star card is about, you know, it may seem like it's far off. I do feel like you guys are gonna, you're in this vulnerable energy of like, you just wanna get it out of the house. You just wanna hook up with someone. You just want somebody to be there. You've been on your own. You've been doing it all on your own. But Spirit's saying, don't get greedy. Okay, don't get greedy. And it's not it's not necessarily that energy of being greedy, but don't just accept the first offer that comes your way. And don't, especially if it's this past person and they haven't changed, okay, or if it's falling back. Again, I just keep hearing old habits die hard here. 
Okay, Aquarius energy coming through very strong. It's about see through your fears and illusions. Do what's right for you. Okay, don't relapse, Gemini. Okay, and if you do, be caring, kind, love, and loving, and compassionate. But I feel like for some of you guys, if you do go back to a past person who hasn't changed, okay, very important, that it is going to end up feeling like you're going to end up feeling drained again. You're going to feel like you missed an opportunity. And, it, and Spirit is saying it will delay this, you know, your true soulmate from, you know, uh, Wow, beautiful. It will delay this your Ten of Cups. So we get the Ace of Cups clarified by the Nine of Cups. Your Ten of Cups is at your doorstep, Gemini. You have to believe that. It's like right around the corner. Don't don't give it all away for something that may that you may look back and say that was really foolish. Yeah, I'm getting it's not about this past person. There's somebody new. Um, it's about looking at the car like doing a karmic review for some of my Gemini's out there. It's time to move forward. No more second chances. Obviously, you know, you guys can do what you will. Look at that. We get the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love. There's somebody that wants to come in and really, truly love you and give you what you deserve. Okay, but you have to make a very conscious effort and choice and not to fall back on those old patterns or those old habits. Keep your eye on the prize, Gemini, because something really, really beautiful is coming towards you. Okay, now for some of you, again, if it's if this past person changes their energy, they may come back in and, and if, if they're not if they're not in that same energy that they were in the past, that sort of non-committal um, but I, I feel like this past person hasn't changed their ways and there's something much better for you. Milk and honey. This is luxury. Gemini, you can have it all. We get the 10 of cups coming out twice. We get the soulmate partnership love. You've done the work. Don't throw it away. Okay, we get, yeah, this is a slow moving energy, but Treasure Island, this is about you get. It's been a long journey. It's been a hard journey. It's been a solo journey, but but your ships are coming in. Ah. Sorry, we get a, a, a card in here. The Empress in reverse. Yeah. Hold yourself in high regard, Gemini. Hold yourself in high regard. There may be a past person who treated you like an option or just made you made you feel less than. It's time to close the door on that. Deep knowing. I and I feel like many of my Geminis, you know who this is. You know that, you know, the messages here are the truth. Going back to a past situation that hasn't changed is just going to be like a very temporary band-aid that's going to hurt a whole lot when you rip it off, okay? And we get higher power. Yeah, you're being guided. You're being guided to something brand new. You're being guided to something brand new. Chop wood. It's hard. It may be boring, okay? It's like we're in this cat lady energy, but you've done so, you've come so far, Gemini, to like not have this. Spirit wants you to have it all. Spirit wants you to be happy. Spirit wants you to be in union with somebody who's truly in alignment with you. Trust the process, Gemini. And you know that. Like, you guys are very highly intuitive with the moon card and the deep knowing and the higher power. You are getting lots of signs and synchronicities. I don't have to tell you that. You know what you need to do. You know, in the, and there are going to be temptations. There absolutely are. And if you give in to them, it's okay. You can always, you know, course correct. But Spirit saying you also know what's right for you and what's not. Okay. So we get the distorted feminine. Okay. And we get forgiveness. Beautiful. So again, if if you guys give in to temptation, it's about forgiving yourself. Okay, for others of you, there is possibility for a reconciliation here, but this distorted feminine energy is lurking somewhere in your life. And I feel like for some of you, it may be this sort of giving up on love or giving up on the idea that you can ever really truly purge and release this karmic person or cycle that you've been on. But spirit saying to find this balance, forgiving and healing, that's what's going to bring you exactly what you've been looking for. All right. Distorted feminine energy is characterized by like neediness, 
pointless drama, jealousy, not feeling good enough. And remember, we did see the Empress in reverse, okay? The embodiment of distorted feminine energy. It's time to release that, okay? Or somebody, or maybe it's the person that comes towards you. You know, they might try to make you feel jealous, make you, tr and again, I feel like that King of Wands with the Nine of Swords energy, this person might treat you like an option. This person might, you know, might tell you that there are other people. It's about shutting the door on that. Because your happiness, your Ten of Cups, is right around the corner. So we get synchronicity. So I told you guys, you guys are definitely getting the signs and the synchronicities. The deep knowing, the higher power, the moon. This is dreams. This is numbers. You know what you need to do. You do not need me to tell you. And we get perseverance. But you have to keep going. You have to keep going on your path, Gemini. Okay, a new adventure awaits. There's something brand new that awaits you, Gemini. And what it is... I'm going to show you again, okay, because this doesn't happen. The king and the queen and love, long-term commitment, marriage, partnership, ten of cups, ten of cups. You're being guided towards this absolutely, this milk and honey, this luxury, this paradise, everything you've ever dreamed of, but you're going to have to make some hard choices, some difficult choices, okay? So I'm sending you lots of love and light, Geminis. Take care.